Hi, everybody, and welcome to Phoenix. This is NCAA softball on the campus of Grand Canyon University. Today, the Lopes meet the Beavers of Oregon State. No sharp shadows yet on the field as the sun goes down. We'll see some on the third base side. There's a swinging strike three for the first out of the ball game. Number that stuck out. Soft liner to left field. It drops for a base hit. One out single for Campbell. Dean runs, nine of them earned. Popped up again. This one is called for by Dunkel. And that's her play, her, and that's her catch. Second out of the inning. These players have. They met last year. You know to lay off certain things if you can. It's tempting. Doesn't lay off that one. Didn't matter. It was in the middle of the plate and the second strikeout. They've just gone to three. Sarah's been right up there. Commonly on the mound, 73 innings pitched. And there's a ball banged into left field. Leadoff runner aboard for the Lopes. Beautiful bunt up along third base. Rolling, rolling, wow. and it stays fair. Oh, man. Oh, man. It looked like it was going to kick foul. Dunkel to second base. This ball's hit the center. It's deep, and it's gone, and just like that, Dunkel, Treeweiler, and Fifield come home to score on Fifield's home run to center field number seven for Kristen this year. Well, that didn't take long. And let's let Fifield clean things up with a no doubter to center. Wow, a no doubter well up on the screen. Just huge what she's been able to do so far this year. Swing and a miss off speed, and Lopez fooled. That's the first out. A lot of lefties, but she's not a slasher. That one's hit in the air to right. Eliana Gottlieb makes the catch. So Rogers is out. Second out of the inning, and here's Micaiah Gomez. About an hour ago. Keep an eye on that. Up the middle, base hit. Two out single to center field by Gomez. Thanks for protecting me. Lopes looking to make some hay. Throw to first is not. Oh, my goodness. They ring her up. Lined at third base off the glove of Mesmer, or rather off the glove of uh, Mackenzie Nolan. And steaming into second base, 12 for 42. Hit the center. Fading Gomez made that look easy. Throw to third base is in time to get her. How about that cutoff from Dunkel, who's had probably three or four full count pitches already. And loses Simon on that one. So just the first walk, but. Now it's got a chance, huh? Good call. Probably could have made it to second base, but she didn't want to get out before the run did come home. Yep. Playing it safe. She already saw a good outfield play earlier this inning. But ultimately gets the RBI with two outs here. Strike three, and the side is retired. Gold a little, little exasperated, but out of the inning, having allowed just the one. Bottom of the second when we come back. Solo blast. Not this time. Third played pretty well in her rookie season. Fly ball to left, fading is Paige Door. She's there to make the catch. 
Wind has shifted it, now blowing out to right. This one's hit the left and deep, and it is gone! Into the wind, if you will. Caitlin Dunkel, a line drive to left that just kept on going. And Dunk circles the bases, the second home run. And GCU gets the run right back. Well, Dunkel saw the velocity that Garcia was bringing to the table. And she decided to jump on that first pitch, turned it over. Treeweiler loops it fair and past the shortstop. When you hit that thing first, it looks like it's a slicer off. Lineup to start cooking here with two outs. Well, you don't want to face Fifield. The ball is hit in the air to center field. Didn't quite get enough on that one. Put a good swing on it, but didn't get the carry. The Lopes just will settle for one. Well, that's okay. Oregon State, as you mentioned, doesn't score a lot of runs, averaging three per game, and strike three called. Snapped a four-game losing streak in the process. A couple of late home runs from Campbell and Gottlieb. This Goal. time, Campbell down. Yeah, I mean, it's an ASU team that really dominated this Grand Canyon team earlier that week, so... It's a good team they beat. Kristen Fifield makes the catch in right. Good. In 23. Nice running catch. Ball kind of fall apart. Awful. But line to center field, a base hit by Kayla Rogers right on that pitch. The, whole, the more reasonable travel. Paige Door makes the catch on that pop off the bat of grounded to shortstop. Watley to first just in time to get the speedy Kirk. And the side is retired. 16 when Shannon Hayes came in, and that was third in the country in terms of turnaround. Ball four means another base on balls. Pretty crazy. There are 20 in terms of improvement. Fly ball to left. Look out. Going back to the wall. Gone. Kayla Rogers watches this one go. And Oregon State jumps right back in it. It's four to three as Madison Clark touches them all for Clark, her second home run of the season. Couple all of over ribbies. That pitch. Yeah, oh yeah. Good day from Clark so far. Double in now. Two run shot that keeps this one real close here in the fourth. Eid from Thompson, then from Golden. Same as Garcia for Oregon State instead of Hendigas. Now ball to second. Door retired, 4-3. A significant overlap of common opponents. Strike three, K-2-3 in the scorebook with the drop third strike and the throw out and one. Oregon State, seven and two. Liner to shortstop, Dunkel makes the catch and that will retire the side. So Works the count well. That's a very good at bat. Behind on the count, waste some pitches. Take a ball, waste a pitch, take a ball. So speed on the bases to lead it off. Oh, the bunt has popped up. Hit the center, fading is the center fielder. Simon, and she watches this one go. Caitlin Dunkel circles the bases again. Three for three and two home runs. Yeah, that's home run number two indeed. And after that first one, we kind of just felt like it might be a big Caitlin Dunkel day. And she answered the call after two runs.
from the Beavers in the fourth. GCU answers. She lines one out to left. Fourth inning. Up the middle, base hit. Listen, Treeweiler is ridiculous. I mean, she almost can hit on command. She's well over 400. With five field here as well because she's been getting some serious height on these balls. Looks like this one's going to stay in the yard. Godley makes the catch. Five field. And up, up and down with her stats next to him and say, all right, whoever's hitting low 300s, kind of having an off year compared to the rest of the squad. <laughs> Side retired. You're hitting a measly 305. Onto the rubber. I think she's dealing with the glare, isn't she? I'm sure. Dunkel. Man, that's smooth. Yep. Well, the teams that come into Phoenix to play, and there's ball four. Escobar reaches base for the first time today after a couple of strikeouts to Portland to get out of there. Ground ball to short. Dunkel knocks it down, but that's about all. Even if Caitlin comes up with that, I'm not sure she's going to get anybody out. Swing and a miss, just what the doctor ordered. That's that big. one had some pop. Sacks full for Madison Clark. Savannah Kirk makes the play to get the Lopes and Ariel Thompson out of the go out. Why, why do we release them to play? Before we said, okay, and we have missed a batter, here's what happened. Kayla Rogers hit a fly ball to right field. Lined into right center. It's a gapper, and it's going to go through to the wall. Might be three. Rounding second, going to third. Easy triple for Micaiah Gomez. Other one, Savannah Kirk. Look to bring it home, and it looks like she will. A fly ball to left. It's caught by the left fielder, Door, but her throw is airmailed off to the right side of the plate. It was a very tough play for Door going to her left to have to turn her body around and will home run. Got the cushion back up from one run to three runs, strikes out this time. Right, you, you just don't see that very often, do you? Pitch was inside, looked like she swung, but on the appeal they say, no, nope. okay. So it's a hit batsman, and he is getting some good folks to come in here and play. Look at that. There's a six, four, three double play. Dunkel to Kirk to Treeweiler. Strong thunderstorms expected. Ground ball to third. Keppa Ah picks it up and throws her out. Just in the nick of time, Lovey with the quick recovery. Swing and a miss. One out as Keppa Ah goes down swinging. Taking her batting average up 25 points so far today. Swing and a miss, pitch up around the eyeballs. Are you serious? She's done it again. <laughs> Looked like it was gonna get through, but an awesome play. 3-2. Got her with the off-speed patch. No runs, one hit, no Two outs. <laughs> off the glove of taking her licks. Hit in the air to right. That's five field territory. 
off the glove of the catcher back to the screen. But not making it easy here in the seventh. Walk to Campbell, puts two on, 29. Eight hits in 35 at-bats. That one gets away, and the runners move up to second and third. Well, a base hit can cut the margin in. You know, strikeout pitcher, but she's got a 3-1 count here. It's tough to enter the game, a 3-1 count. For statistical reasons, that one and two is the count to Mesmer. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Campbell at second. And they're stranded all around as the strikeout is in the books from Haley Hudson to put this one on ice for the Lopes. Grand Canyon with a quality win over a quality team.